Hey guys, how you doing? I'm XDSL. Hello. <laughs> um, this don't worry. This is cringy role we're looking at. The video is not about anime. You're fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, the I had a conversation last night in uh, in Discord with user J Coda. Um, J Coda is a big anime fan, which is why I thought I'd just use Crunchyroll Roll for this. Um, and he wanted to know why there wasn't a desktop app for Crunchyroll Roll for Linux, or if there was any app around we could use. And I was like, just, 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 just use the thing that makes a website into an app thing in in Chrome. And he was like, what are you talking about? Wait, what are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? Now, I've covered this before, but I covered it quite a while ago. And after a conversation, like I say, a conversation with a bunch of people, I realized it was something people didn't know. Um, so either my video didn't hit the mark or it was just an older video. It's been forgotten. So I thought I'd just cover it again because I was asked. Um, so yeah, uh, so I'm using this to shout out to Jay Coda who prompted me to do this. So here's uh, Crunchyroll. And you can see um, Crunchyroll does not appear in uh in in my launcher at all but if you want to launch this website as its own app um you can do this with any website at all if you want uh you need chrome or chromium um to do this exact thing but i'll talk about something else in a minute uh click on the little three button menu thing. i think it's i think hamburger menu is what people call it but i don't i don't like that i don't like that term it's not a fucking hamburger it's three dots a hamburger's got a bun and meaty stuff in the middle and a bottom bun and it's not the same thing anyway uh you click on if you if you go to the website you want to turn into a launcher essentially and you click on uh the hamburger menu and you go more tools and you go add to desktop click add to desktop then click open as a window and just rename it because it's going to put the whole name of the website in there so just rename it to something like just just like a name that you, you understand crunchy roll add that's it and now uh when i go to crunchy roll crunch there look crunchy roll comes up and Poof, there you go. Crunchyroll in a window. Um, and you'll see on my launch, you'll notice it's even got a separate icon launcher. So it doesn't merge with the icon for Chromium. It's a whole separate launcher. And when I click the overview mode, there you go. Look, there it is there. It's essentially a web app. Um, it's essentially turning that web app into into a desktop application and now you can like browse or you can browse all your manga and browse all your shows and stuff and it just feels a little bit more like an application um i use this for plex i use it, this sort of thing for i just delete my crunchy roll one <laughs> i use it for crunchy roll i use it for like the odd thing where i want a separate icon that's not part of my web browser so i don't accidentally close my i just don't accidentally close chromium and take down that too so this just makes a separate instance of it um well, if you want the menu bar and all the normal stuff there, just don't click the button that says open as a new window and it'll just launch it um, then with all the normal web stuff. But this just strips down Chromium and takes it down to basics. Now, the last video I did, I did cover, there's an application called Ice. I want to say it's Ice. Do I even know? Yeah, there's an application called Ice here, um, which will do the same thing for other browsers. Um, it's a bit more troops to jump through, um, but it will, it will end up with the same result. Um, if you want to go through this and you can also remove and manage stuff as well. Uh, it's SSB, my ICE SSB, I think it's called. Anyway, I can't, is, it, is it actually called that? It's just ICE. No, it's just ICE. It used to be called something else. I'm sure it did. Um, anyway, ICE is the application you want if you want to use this with Firefox. But it's a feature that's built into Chrome slash Chromium. Um, and yeah, it doesn't even doesn't even come up. Look, it doesn't even come up as Chromium. It's Chromium anyway. It is a Chromium instance. It doesn't come up as Chromium anywhere. As far as anyone knows, that's an application. Um, I think if... Uh, a lot of people I know set this up for like parents or new users and things like that as like their website, their, their webmail in just a little window. So they've actually got a mail icon on their launcher, which seems to go down well. But generally, it's something that I thought you guys might enjoy because, I, again, I didn't really know that it was a thing that wasn't widely known because I'd done a video before. But hopefully this has helped someone out. Um, hopefully people appreciate this. I appreciate the wrong. I'm not. No, I don't want your appreciation. <laughs> that was the wrong word. Like, no, no. I just mean I hope like people like people like see that there's there's value to doing this. That's what I was going with. I didn't mean I didn't mean appreciate me. Although if you want to worship me, I wouldn't mind being a, a leader of a cult. That would be fine. The yeah, I think I'd have like lots of money. That would be like the first commandment. Thou shalt give all your money to hex via Patreon. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I've been XDSL. You can support me on Patreon. Give me a like and subscribe. Or just say hi in Discord. The link's below in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye. I pushed the button. Oh, man. I pushed the button then. And nothing happened. And I've noticed, like, my green screen, look. The whole time. There's a little gap in it. Fuck it. It's, I'm going to upload this. This is good to go. This is gold. Bye.